Hello, everyone. Welcome to Chicago Reacts. My name is Kelsey. I am an actor and a voice actor living in Chicago. And today I will be reacting to Monster Hunter World, it's in, it's in quotes, Review Extinction Trademark Colonialism Trademark by Maxor. Sweet. Love that. Love this. Love Maxor's style of video. Um, I've heard the name Monster Hunter. Don't really know anything else about it. Um, and that's about it. I have nothing else to say about it. Um, but the start screen here, I mean, there's a mountain. There's some flying guys. Love some flying guys. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But before we do that, I wanted to talk about a game that I do know a lot about. So I am in a game called Fallen Tier the Ascension that is currently in in production but you can they post so much content about like the music they're creating which is beautiful it made me cry um and like animations they're doing um there is a demo up on steam it is very like very early stages it's from like last year but it's very cool it's a like fantasy 2d hand animated metroidvania game it's super cool uh the demo is going to drop this july so um check them out on twitter fallen to your game and then also check me out on twitter i'm on there i post more about life and things and lots of voice acting stuff and memes so if you're on twitter i am at kelatonin on twitter link is in the description below so there and yeah check it out if you if you nasty or if you're not. Cool. Let's hunt some monsters. Monster Hunter The World is an action style so game do already. Carve them up, drink them up, kill them all. Where you play as John World or the Joker and his normal cat mm. as we find and research the world's most amazing and charismatic megafauna so we can Sick. peacefully relocate them to the afterlife. Do you ever regret not being born in time to hunt Siberian mammoth or perhaps Honestly, oh, uh, man who ooh, caribou. Waiting for the day that the chimps become excited. If so, this game could be for you. Set in the hostile and exotic wasteland of Australia, we play Play oh, as a yes. bloodthirsty and violent race known only as Caucasoidus Anglicus, and we are here to destroy the local environment as much as humanly possible, so I can wear it along the way. Of course, many varieties so I can make cool coats unknown to God, ranging from plausible and interesting specimen to fucking Thanos. And yes, I am reviewing Monster Hunter World and not Rise because the phrase Nintendo Switch port does not fill me with confidence. I'm sure it's a fantastic game, but so this I've looks heard. like an excellent Gary's mod map. So without further ado, it's time to explain. To you, my favorite animal cruelty Me. simulator with a game attached to it. Sweet. Lots of punching big boys, seems like. Sweet. Edit comprehensively. It's been so long since I've Don't believe seen it. my son lost to this monster. Forced and fist most, Mobster Trucker is a game about options because there's a few of them. At least three Probably. monsters are present in the game, possibly cool. 94. And every one of them has two armor sets. To hunt after these amazing beasts and where to find them, you need to get into the mindset of our distant ancestors. You see, humans are what we call persistence hunters, which means we kill by running down our prey until they beg us for death. For reference, our closest yes. competitors in a marathon are sled dogs and a horse. Imagine for a moment that you're this big fucking turkey and it's almost time big for boy. Thanksgiving. After a long and arduous battle, you run away as far as you can, but every time you turn around, he's still there. He's and back. Even worse, it's wearing your skin. This is the mentality Terrifying. you adopt if you're to survive the wilds of Queensland. The mammoth deserves to be extinct because he was weak. We arrived the famous mammoths of, of Queensland. Known as the Denny's parking lot as part of the fifth fleet of the research Hell yeah. Exploring and murdering this vast continent to track down the whereabouts of an ancient elder dragon. Now, now, as someone from a country who Elder killed dragon. millions of people so we could grow fucking vegetables, this is offensive. So when I heard that these bitches were doing it to find a lizard, I decided I would engage in genocide of my own volition. You will not okay. need motivation to kill in this game. It comes about naturally, just like polio. Just... And to bring about this timely demise, Not SpongeBob in a ventilator! weapons, all of them completely different from one another, like the light bow gun and the heavy bow gun and the cool. bow. But let Lots me tell you, if I were stranded alone on a desert island, I would probably choose the fucking gun. 
Because the only people in this world that I trust are my two best friends, Smith and Wesson. This is mm, why I chose the gun lance, which is what you think it is. Now, gun lance? Chosen the literal machine wow. Gun, but What's that tiny character next to game whatever his face is? Shooter, where the objective is to keep the gun away from your mouth. Instead, I was drawn to the insect glaive because one, it lets me literally fly and the I mean, that's is paying great. taxes. Two, I get to lace a giant bee with C4 high explosives and throw it at people. And yes, there is an upgrade tree dedicated to bees. Three, I get to mount monsters and that lets me spam custom dialogue at everyone in the game. A side note, you can fully customize your automatic callouts to preemptively oh. diagnose the cause of your teammate's death, which is very oh, fun. good. But your choice isn't just between very weapon funny. types, but also weapon elements. I won't get into it now since there are a few of them, but my favorites would have to include the dragon element, the sleep element, or even <laughs> blast element. Blast Every element. monster is weak to blast element. So with all these varied choices, chances are high that at least one weapon speaks to your specific mental illness. Just don't play the hunting horn. What would I like? Rock band for engineering students. What if I want that though? I'm gonna Don't do worry. it. I know exactly why you're here. I too want to know what this thing's foreskin looks like on my mantelpiece. Fortunately, World has you covered. I haven't really explained Sweet. this because it's in the title, but in this game, you hunt monsters. This doesn't just mean killing them, no, although I'm... there is a lot of that. There's two ways to complete a hunt, Republican and Democrat. Both of them result in endless pain for the animal. Here's the difference. Killing them by slowly breaking each individual bone is Ooh. a mercy. Capturing them will always give you more body parts than skinning them, which can Probably. include their skulls. The only logic Logical conclusion is that we disassemble them like a crab factory, and those are the lucky ones because the other ones are subjected to cockfighting. And my bet oh. always wins. The gameplay of Angry Birds can best be described as Bloodborne with no health bars. For most monsters, that's okay because counting broken bones is enough. But some sure. of these bastards spend more time close to death. That's than cool. Item. In fact, while hunting, <gasps> your prey will attempt to escape you several times and fail. Really, the entire gameplay loop is just finding new things to turn inside out and then fashioning yourself the perfect drip out of their intestines. Of course, Sick. there's a lot of ways to build your swag with a myriad of skills like the fast food build, the eating less build, the eating for free build, and Lots let's eat. forget the mushroom consumption build to complete my ultimate McDonald's form. No self-respecting hunter would ever think of going outside without slightly reducing the effects of minor wind pressure. I know <laughs> I don't. Do damage like a fucking moron. Take your armor for a spin and throw a body in the bin. Repeat until you win. That's the entire game. This being Bars. said, there are complications. It's better to think of them not like video Ooh. game enemies, but very stupid cats. And like cats, these bitches are territorial, sometimes even going so far as to beat each other to death while I'm fighting them. But I well, think my favorite example less of this would less have work to be you. Mr. Nikon. This bastard is designed to wander into random battles, catch you in 4K HD, and then leave for literally no fucking reason. And if that cool. doesn't suit your fancy, there's Thank you. The Zynga Goose, whose sole objective is tracking you down across the map to carpet bomb you for the crime of playing the game. Now, I don't normally play Monster Hunter since I'm more of a Connect Four SpongeBob man, but the sheer mm. variation on display here is really something. Every single animal has their own unique they're, role, and mine they're is putting cool them into looking. a museum. As a rule, for every single kind of beast, if violence does not work, use additional violence. You're gonna have to. Or hunt these now monsters. That we have a good understanding of our victims. It's time to take our domestic violence international because this is a monster hunter world, one that makes Sweet. no fucking sense, both geographically and ecologically. Just like the real Australia. London. So upon beginning the game, we make our way across the dangerous but inoffensive lands of New South Wales, learning the basics, mm, surviving, yes. and expanding Been our own Yes, been there. Beautiful. Looks City like that. <laughs> will be your base of operations for most of the game, complete with every kind of amenity you can expect from savage Welshmen. It's here that we oh, are. that dude. I love that news, dude. My weapon again because I am indecisive. There's even a pig that is <gasps> following me. You can pet it, but not too much because what matters is consent. But most importantly, this is where we use racial segregation pig. because for some reason the only chefs in the entire Cat. camp are cats, and this is a very okay. unsanitary cooking environment. You yeah, see, food isn't just a buff. Full body hair net. Full body hair net. And it's Think not about just it. A cut scene. It's fucking no hair in my, no cat hair in my cardio. food. My body's an airplane powered by dead chickens. To put it simply, cool. the game is unplayable with an empty stomach for two reasons. One, it looks like this. And two, I don't <gasps> have to explain shit. The next areas on our list are what I collectively call the stank tank. And to get there, we need to contact the California third fleet who have spent the last 30 years smoking weed in their spaceship. 
Beautiful. This is pretty much why we're here. This new environment <laughs> is firstly comprised of the coral highlands, which are filled with a beautiful and That's alien cool. ecology, able to support a wide range of pit bulls and more literal balloon animals. From Mr. This Worldwide? Point on, biology is more of a suggestion, but looking just underneath the surface, we find the true source of this bizarre life. It's death. The Rotten Vale is an oh, area built and designed to simulate cool. San Francisco and is sustained only by the miracle of rotting corpses and feces. You may be asking yourself some important questions right now, such as, can the smell kill me? Or how the fuck? As it Miasma. turns out, every monster in the new world has an inherent instinct oh, to Sonic. die here, specifically. Which begs the question, why do predators even exist if they can just wait? And also, yes, the stench physically hurts you. Technically, these are all the areas you need to nice. beat the game by about 30%. Because upon entering our next area, Monster Hunter turns Western up the heat Australia. and scares every monster back to being threatening again. Yes, even the Great Jack Russie. That means more weapons, more armor, and even more temptation to kill every mammal larger that than That one's yourself. cool again. again. It's safe to say that this game has a time requirement. So after 30 hunts or so, we finally arrive to the temperate lands of Western Australia. You know, the state mm. that lost a civil conflict with flightless birds. Fortunately yeah, for the us, emu war. is no longer a suggestion. It's a restraining order. We've got fish that swim through molten magma, lizards that eat rocks, and of course, my personal favorite animal, Thanos. His main attack is the crush force of his rock-solid chin. Although his, his I do think they could have worked on the controlling the monster mechanic a little better. It really breaks down when you encounter the fire. But among the many features of this game, we haven't even gotten close to the train wreck that is the story. After all, there is oh? a reason we ventured into the land of unusual thermodynamics. It's just oh. a really bad reason. First of all, we can tell that this game is a literary masterwork by the fact that characters do not have names. Who can forget such personalities as the Handler, the Commander, and a fucking Ganondorf? The story is <laughs> literally two major arcs. Where in the world is the 50-foot tall lizard? And gee, I wonder what Ganon is up to. Both of which are made excessively worse when the game automatically sets the Handler to be in a cat suit. And at this point, I'm afraid of turning it off. Okay, what? one last thing, everyone. I thought that was a mod that he just left in there to be funny. What is that? If I see anyone else on this fucking ship say the words Nekopara cosplay, I will invert your penis with my foot. For the first arc of our multiple stage manga that ends in a sex scene, we chase after the amazing boss fight Zora Magdaros as we apparently well. forget the location of a giant kaiju several oh, times. This being said, you don't Where want to he? find him because his boss battle is an environmental puzzle primarily comprised of loading cannonballs for 30 minutes and then waiting for the boss to move uh, very slowly. That way uh -huh. we can penetrate him with our oddly phallic spear that uh extends when needed and for the second arc of our new genshin anime on spike tv we team up with ganon to discover new and amazing elder dragons all across the continent oh and the dragon i mean discover like the vikings meant trade this is where mm. some of the toughest and most annoying bosses in the entire game happen featuring such great fights as nergigante whose name i cannot say with a hard r the covid beast and my personal favorite margaret thatcher's nightmare of course there is more to this game because there's always more but that is basically always. How you beat the first That's half. a cool design so, of a dragon. There's an expansion for this game that is more expensive than the game itself, which is it better? The content and the playtime. I'm gonna be fucking real, guys. I'm not covering that shit. This video is supposed to be short because I made it while on vacation, and vacation for me means working eight hours a day. This game is mm. lengthy, and you should definitely play it if you have the time. But in my current mental state, I do not. So with the release Fair. of Elden Ring, I think it's time to. Oh, uh, Elden to a Ring. Project. This is basically a max or filler episode and if you like world then just get the iceborne expansion because it's more of the same but twice as tall and most of the monsters are on crack and just to cool. prove it half of the footage in this review is iceborne this is a game that i believe you have to experience because there's just so much and yet so little time freaking cat watching, suit that, that freaking cat suit that really got me that's ridiculous oh my gosh the character customization, too. Like, they knew what they were doing. It's no fun when you, like, get into, like, a game like this and you go into character customization and you, like, can't really do much. It's like, here are four hairstyles and your hair color choices are, like, red, black, brown, blonde, white. That's all you have. Like, that's not fun. Like, they, these, these game devs knew what they were doing. They knew that what people wanted. They knew what I wanted. And what I want is always to go into character customization and make the weirdest thing I can. Um, but a that game looks very fun. Um, and it seems like a game that, like, even though the story is, like, 
seems like a game that like the game itself is like aside from that one boss battle so like fun and interesting that you don't necessarily need a great story and sometimes i'll forgive that yeah well thank you all for joining me if you liked this video be sure to like it and subscribe to our channel for more content and